Nelson Doc. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select Auto Launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Accelerate through the first checkpoint when you're ready to start. Fly through the center of the first checkpoint. You'll notice that they change color as you fly through them. So maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls. Rolling and pitching 
together is the most efficient way of turning rapidly.
Timeshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. All readouts look good. You're now accelerating towards a velocity comparative to the speed of light, measured in C. Supercruise is used to navigate within a star system, allowing you to cover significant distances in minutes. Usually you'll retain control in Supercruise, but on this occasion your ship's computer is following a preset path. This is a good time to familiarize yourself with a couple of the cockpit panels available to you. In the top left of your HUD is the comms panel, which displays pilot communications and contacts across several channels. The top right, that's your info panel, entries here mostly relate to your ship's status, computer messages, and events happening around you. Ah, there we go. Welcome to Lightspeed. you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. have an effective range, so you may need to move closer here. Thrusters are particularly useful for navigating around large structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge.
may have noticed that multi-cannons are effective against unshielded targets. Another craft has arrived. This one is fitted with a shield generator. Helpfully, your burst laser is a thermal weapon, which excels at stripping away a target's shields.
Your next stop is Quello Station. This time we'll employ the Supercruise Assist module to guide your approach. Open the external interface panel to your left and select the Navigation tab. Highlight the starport in the location list and then select Super Cruise Assist. It's the second option. With the destination selected, throttle up and aim towards your target. The compass to the left of the sensor display will help you orient yourself. Good. Your ship is now bound for Quello Station. Let's take a moment to review the interface panels either side of your chair. The external panel is primarily used to interact with the galaxy around you. For example, you can access maps, display contracts, and review nearby objects. Meanwhile, the... Ah, uh, just a moment. It seems Super Cruise Assist has disengaged. Where were we? Ah, yes. Meanwhile, the internal panel displays information about you and your ship. You can adjust module functions, check your records, and access the codex, among other things. often wonder what their first step into the galaxy should be. The Pilot's Handbook is a great source of help in this regard. It details a variety of professions and how to outfit your ship for them. The Handbook also offers advice on various ship functions that aren't covered in this evaluation. You can find the Pilot's Handbook in the Codex, accessible on the home screen via the internal interface panel. The trails moving around you are FSD wakes. Your ship is also emitting one. The position of each correlates with their respective sensor display icons. In a moment, we'll be going through the docking process. This will cover docking permissions and a standard landing pad approach.
safe landing procedure. Let's review what it's doing. Landing gear must be deployed. The related dashboard indicator lights up if this has been done. Landing gear deployed. In a moment, the sensor display will switch to the precision approach display, which helps you accurately set belly down on the landing pad. has been successful and a license is being assigned to you as I speak. We just need to finalize your credentials. Enter the hangar to exit this evaluation. It's time to blaze your own trail across the galaxy. The manner in which you do so is up to you.